Hey guys, what's up? It's John John here, back here with another video. So, if you guys are into cameras, you might be thinking, Hey John John, the quality is different. Well, that's because I'm recording with the Canon Rebel T5. Now, I'm actually borrowing this camera from a friend. It's not actually mine. So, I just basically wanted to make this video using this camera. Pretty much just so I could see how the quality is and whatnot. So, anyways guys. Alright, so pretty much what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is... What to do if you have, let's say if you broke a bone or something, like your legs, your arm, it could be anything, I'm just, I just want to give you some tips and tricks that I use to help it heal faster. So obviously the first thing is, is do exercise guys, just exercise, and I know you might be thinking, well I can't really exercise because, you know, you broke a bone. That's kind of true, but you can always exercise like something in your body, you know? Even if it's just go, going like this, as long as you're getting blood flowing, It'll really help um, with your bones, it'll help cure them, it'll help it heal faster. So one thing is just exercise a little bit. You know, a couple times every day, just do some short exercise. Now, the second thing I recommend is get a lot of sleep, guys, because that's when your bones heal, basically. It's when you're sleeping, and that's when you grow, and that's when your bones heal, and that's when everything, your muscles heal, heal after you work out, it's when you sleep, guys. And obviously, you're not going to be doing very much exercise, because, you know, you broke a bone, so you're going to be sleeping a lot. So guys, just sleep and continue eating, like, what you normally eat. Eat a lot of protein, guys. Eat a lot of healthy fats, eat a lot of healthy carbs. Just eat everything. Like, just eat really healthy. And that's also another way to heal your bone faster is sleep and eat correctly. And then the first tip was obviously do exercise. Now the third tip I want to tell you guys about is just like try your best, set goals guys because when you set goals you, you're going to try to accomplish them. Like for me, my goal was simply stand up and after the second week I accomplished that goal, I stood up by myself and you know that's a goal I had and then my second goal was to walk. Now I smashed this goal guys, I, I am able to walk perfectly fine now. And it's been about it's been about seven weeks since my incident or six weeks since my incident and guys I'm already walking at school, I don't even need my crutches anymore. So anything that you set a goal for just it really helps guys. Alright guys, so you probably want to see my progress. So I'll show you how I've been walking and that stuff. So this is how I'm walking guys, like as you can see, I do walk pretty normal. I walk like a normal person now, unlike on the last update that I showed you where I kind of was walking funky, you know? Because I, I didn't really feel balanced, you know? Now, I've gotten way stronger, like I've been walking at school, I don't need to wear my crutches anymore, I don't really need to wear my cast anymore. That's what my doctor told me. So that's pretty much how my progress has, go, has been going. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Um, I'd like to introduce you to my brother's channel. <laughs> the, the link to his channel will be in the description below, but if you, if you, like, if you like fitness, I'm doing a fitness channel, but it's not even on me. It is. it is. I'm doing a channel on fitness about how I'm just trying to make some gains. Follow me, tell your friends, as always, like, subscribe, and comment, and down, comment below. down below. Peace. Peace out, guys.